In U.S. society, when you see gray hair and wrinkles, you generally think obsolescence. Maybe 20 years ago, there was still this idea that at 65, people were pretty much burned out and ready to go on to the next phase of their life. We live with much better medical care these days, much better nutrition, and as a result, people are living longer and much more productive or potentially productive lives. I uh, graduated in 1974 with a degree in industrial engineering. And after that, I actually started some work on a master's in applied statistics. Let that drag on much too long, and life happened and I didn't finish up my master's, which was for 40 years, something that continued to be a concern for me. My husband died in 2018, and about five months later, I was looking at what do I want to do that I've not finished in my life? And immediately came back, I want my master's. I want my master's from Georgia Tech. I had recently been moved in my job into a business analyst role, working in business insights. And so the analytics degree was a perfect complement to the work that I was doing and really enhanced it. Now my boss laughed at that point and said, you're gonna have the most current skills in the department. And I, I thought, mm-hmm, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. The farm was something that was our dream. I love being able to walk out at night and look up at the stars. My mother bought the farm in 2006. Everyone who probably was here 30 years ago knows it is the old emu farm. So since we've we moved in, we've done a lot of remodeling. But it's a, it's a great place to live. My husband and I were both in agreement that we wouldn't live in anything but a log cabin now. People say, oh, well, you were supposed to be sitting with your grandchildren or on the golf course or whatever. No, this has been a great experience. I did not realize how much that my mental skills had slipped until I started this program. This is a time to celebrate. This is, a, this is an achievement.